Hello, my name's Gabe. For the first part of this problem, we're given the graph of x and y from a set of predator-prey equations, and we're asked to find the initial conditions. And then once we find the initial conditions, we're asked to sketch the solution on the slope field. So let's start by finding the initial conditions. So what we're looking for, as far as initial conditions, is we're looking for the values of x and y when time t equals zero. So what we're looking for is we're looking for x of zero as well as y of zero. So to find x of zero, we just have to look at the graph of x and then trace this back to where time equals zero. And we see that when time equals zero, x takes on a value of 40. Now to find y of zero, we'll look at the graph of y and we'll follow that back to where t equals zero, and we see that when t equals zero, y equals 20. Now that we found our initial conditions, x of zero equals 40, and y of zero equals 20, we can sketch the solution on our slope field, which passes through these initial conditions. So like we found, x of zero equals 40, and y of zero equals 20, Now to sketch our solution, we're just gonna follow along the slope field. So as we see, as x increases here, y is going to be decreasing just slightly, and we'll begin to level out. And once we reach here, as x increases, y is also increasing. Now here, you may be tempted to try to draw the solution as a function. In this case, you don't need to worry about creating a function. So what we see is that here, y is increasing, but now as y continues to increase, x will start decreasing. So we're going to turn back on itself and come back this way. And once we reach here, as these x values continue decreasing, y is also decreasing. And then we come right back to our initial condition point. So there we have a graph of the solution for this set of predator-prey equations, subject to the initial conditions x of 0 equals 40 and y of 0 equals 20. Thank you.